Jones. JB Bob, back with another goddamn interview with someone who 100% fits the bill, represents darkness and evil, and hopefully will uh, bring this channel back to the uh, back to the glory days, bra bra. After those last couple of uh, fruity homos ruin the uh, reputation of the uh, of the Bob's channel, that's including you. Big Willy Rahmer. So we got a got the second king on the channel actually after uh, King Diamond, another out of the loop geezer. But uh, this time we got King Foley. Well, hi, JB Bob. How you doing? Mmm. <laughs> rough and tough voice right there from a rough and tough go getter guy. So uh, got a question actually, King. Uh, is King your real name or is it a stage name? You know, like a. Uh, Tom Angel Sniffer, you know, one of those bozo names. Well, you know, that's, that's a great question, JB, Bob. My, uh, my real name's Kingsley, but I uh, shortened it to King after I watched the film Lion King and the uh, that great soundtrack by the uh, the Almighty. And I said the Almighty, goddammit. The Almighty, Elvin John. Uh, King owns it, of course. Lion King, huh? Um, well, uh, I, I didn't see it, see it, I, uh, I walked in on it when, uh, when Chase brought it back from, uh, Blockbusters, uh, back in the 90s, and, uh, didn't seem like it fit the bill, especially that, uh, that Elton John Hoagie <laughs> soundtrack, but, um, uh, moving on, brah, brah. I want to talk about the, uh, the title for, uh, Deceased's debut. That album, Luck of the Corpse. Where did that come from? Ah, well, that's a funny story, JB. Well, me and, me and the boys in suffocation, we're talking about, imagine being a uh, out of control homo rapist, right? And not only that, a, um, a, a homo necrophile. And you, uh, you go to the morgue, right? And you're try, trying to find a body, you know? And you, uh, Pulling out these, pulling out these bodies, but uh, not many good, right? But then you find this like really hot guy, and uh, yeah, that's it. It's luck of the corpse. Get it? God damn it! Another backdoor bozo release. Um, this new album, um, 2024's Children of the Morgue. Uh, does that have any relation? I, I hope not, cause uh, if it does. That's on you, dude. <laughs> well, that's another good story, JB. Um, me and David Ellison from uh from, from Megadeth, we uh we're talking about uh about kids and that, and uh and um we're talking about uh imagine if uh if they they brought in like a like a pregnant woman to the morgue, right? And uh, obviously she was dead, but uh if the kid was still alive and uh they had. Give the woman like a like a C-section, and the uh, the kid was born in the morgue and uh, and grew up there and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what that's about, bra bra. Sounds dumb as hell, bra bra. Let's uh, let's wrap this up. Uh, what can we expect from uh, King Foley in the future? Well, we got the uh, rough and tough tour coming up, JB, with um, two hundred wimp wounds, uh, twink mold. And uh, Marilyn Manson, so um, expect to see you there, brah brah. Um, I think I'd rather die in my sleep, but uh, uh oh yeah, D did you get the invite to uh, the uh, Dead by Dog Light Fest? Because uh, that'll be uh, next year, brah brah. So uh, you are going to be playing there, right? Uh, uh no can do, JB. That's the same night we're uh, supporting Sam Smith on his uh, US tour. <laughs> so uh, no can do. Sam Smith, another homo. <laughs> End of interview. Gary, end this call right now. I am sick of interviewing out of the loop geezers, fruity guys, and people who uh, talk about having kids in morgues. So, that's all I gotta say. Let me have a <laughs>